congratulations. Definitely, I think. And also, like, uh, which we are doing business in the internationally, and then this designer doesn't know that any other cultures, uh, psychology and sensitivity and those kind of stuff. They're lacking those kind of stuff. Is kind of what are they thinking as a designer and a businessman? <laughs> that is uh, puzzled me. You know, I think if you think about uh, this simple, simple stuff is offending these customers, I think it's, it's you know, it's not good for business. And why? That's I don't understand. <laughs> And some people say, you know, maybe it's a room full of people who don't even realize it or think of it. So how do we solve that? How do we get people to be aware of it when they're in the design room? So like, like, like I'm a minority, I'm Japanese American, so I think that reason, and, and I'm Buddhist, and then those are uh, Southeast Asia, I think it's when Southeast Asia, maybe American people, they may think about it. So this is good, I think, you know. And the culture, I think, monks, uh, Buddhism, monks, costume, and those kinds of stuff is influencing those, these dresses. So I think a tiny bit, I think they're going to, curiosity, I think they may see where did it come in this inspiration, and then, oh, Southeast Asia, and maybe that may help the you know, diversity and those kinds of stuff. That is a great question, yes. and we will not run away from that. How much time do you have? Oh, yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> um, well, I think it, you hit the nail on the head. I think a lot of it has to do with the kind of employees that you have working for your company. When the company is not diverse or they're not as inclusive, you'll find that a lot of those problems arise because people of different diversities have different ways of seeing things, different ways of expressing things, things that they'll get offended by that another person might not see that. So the more diverse your company, the more you'll be able to catch those cultural, like cultural appropriation screw-ups. And you need more people with diversity and the corporate side mm -hmm. as well and the board meetings because if you have people that are diverse they'll be able to point that out right away and you know that's why some brands and companies have had issues with racism in the past because they're not aware of it because they don't have a diverse team so first off you really need to diversify that as well to really start from the ground up and even business like business insider had quoted and said that businesses last longer when the when the company is more diverse, it means better sales, more uh, better customer service. Right. It's just so you need to yeah. see it on across the map. So not only in the boardroom, on the the runway, um, even in street style mm -hmm. photography, not street style, not photographing women that are only homogenous in looks. You need diversity as well in every aspect. Yes, we'll stop there. Yeah, yeah, we could go, we could go on. on. Yeah. <laughs> I think that we do have to remember that sometimes culturally people interpret things in a very different way. And I think that we need to be very sensitive to that. And I often think that people are accused of doing things when that's not their intention. I know many of these designers and they're, they're thinking creatively, they're, they're thinking in a very big box sort of a way. And I know very, very few of any designers that would set out to truly want to harm another individual or want to bring anything disparaging against a culture or their customer. So certainly top of mind for a lot of people and sometimes people make a misstep, but I always feel that fashion is a very inclusive industry. And we're really an industry that it's about celebrating one another and kind of sharing love. I mean, that's what I love about being in fashion. We're kind of one big global group hug. And certainly we have to always be aware, but at the same time, you know, it's, we're, we're all in this together. She's a model. Oh, okay. And right here? Right here? Yes. I know. I agree with you. I think it involves, I think the missteps are because they're not asking people that are actually from that community. So they're trying to make the leap without saying, have we considered um, talking to people from the community that we're trying to reach? So I think that comes into like actually 
really being diverse, and that means with who you're consulting before the product is getting put out there. But that's just just my opinion. Well, I think this you know this issue of cultural insensitivity is it's not limited to fashion I mean we're seeing it in politics right now um, you know see it's seen it in Hollywood um, you know it's certainly sort of like a great issue of our time and um, you know I think the solution is really just more representation um, behind the scenes more communication ahead of times and also just kind of some common sense um, you know some common sense when it comes to what sort of imagery you're putting out there um, and what kind of imagery you know you might even have in your past if you're thinking of running for office for example and you know just really being sort of attuned to that and the fact that you know these are very different hopefully more evolved times